thank you. This has been a great discussion this afternoon. Uh, we've reviewed a lot and uh, discussed a lot of information about the latest treatment for patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Before we end today's discussion, I'd like to hear from each of you your final thoughts on the most exciting novel agents that are being presented about uh, here at, uh, at ASH 2015. Let's start with Dr. Ferrioli. My interest in uh, this ASH 2015 meeting is to keep an eye on the new agents. In particular, there is emerging data of uh, immunomodulating anti antibody. There is the anti-PD-1 antibody uh, pembrolitol lizumab that has shown activity in lymphoproliferative disorder. This will be shown by Dr. Wei Ding, and she, interesting, shows some activity not only in CLL, but also in Richter's transformation. This opens the page for a new set of agents that are really having great success in a wide spectrum of neoplasm. Dr. Kipps? Well, it's obviously a very exciting time with the advent of these newer agents, and one can only imagine the sequencing of these agents and how they might affect therapy or combinations of therapy. But I share with Dr. Frilli the newer agents that are coming out, newer antibodies affecting uh, binding to different targets uh, that could allow us to have therapy that could either be additive if not synergistic with these new agents, to me is very exciting. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, we would like to be able to be able to treat our patients safely and have a large number of them actually be cured of their disease. I think that would be quite exciting. And I do think that uh, that goal is not unrealistic. And I don't think we should fall short of, um, of that goal. Dr. Ma? Yeah, I think it's very exciting to see many novel agents coming out. Uh, with the second generation BTK inhibitors or second generation PI3 kinase inhibitors, and also venetoclax, the BCL2 inhibitor that can offer very deep and durable responses, and the possibility of allowing patients to come off therapy uh, with a drug-free period and then potentially be retreated uh, with the same medication. So all of those novel agents are very exciting. Dr. Furman. So absolutely, these novel agents really have so had a dramatic impact on how our patients have done. One of the new novel agents that I think is also very interesting is ACP196, which is also called alicobratinib, which is a second generation BTK inhibitor that is more specific in terms of binding to uh, BTK without binding to other enzymes, and hopefully will show us diminished risks of diarrhea, bruising, atrial fibrillation, and hypertension. The, we're going to start to see at ASH 2015 some early efficacy data, which will, will be very intriguing. It's also not metabolized by the CYP3A4 system, so we may finally have a way to avoid some of those drug-drug interactions that we had discussed earlier. Great. Thank you. So on behalf of our panel, we thank you for joining us, and we hope you found this peer exchange discussion on CLL to be useful and informative.